Now Michigan State, their first top two ranking since all the way back in 1966. Play action, although nobody was there to fake it to, doesn't matter. First down yardage again, it's Patton in the middle of the field, down inside the Kansas 40-yard line. And then he, he, he doesn't try to make guys miss. Quickly to the line. This might be the NASCAR package for Rutgers as they got to it quickly. And moving down inside the 20 to the 15-yard line is Laviano. Well, the first down at the 14-yard line of the Jayhawks. First down now from just inside the 15-yard line. Under two minutes left in the first quarter. It'll fade up on top. It's there for the touchdown. Carlton Agadosi from 14 yards out. And Rutgers strikes first here in the first quarter. You'll see here, this is just a fade route, and we talked about the size advantage of Agadosi, 6-6. Laviano just throws a little fade route up there, and look at the play on the ball by Agadosi. He locates it, looks back, gets away with a little bit of hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat there, but good reaction to the ball. The corner never saw it. And once again, Martin Big escort to the outside. Inside the 35-yard line and still on his feet. I guess he does run angry. All the way down to the 25-yard line. 35 yards on the carry to the right side. Well, Robert Martin, it's almost like a little bit of a gadget play. You're going to see the left guard, number 60, pull around here. There's the big fellow out in front, blocking in space. And boy, Robert Martin, he turned on the Jets in the open field. And you could see him just plowing through the defender. And Trey Parmalee, a very good job of just getting on top of it and securing the football. On second down, throw across the middle is picked off. Behind the intended receiver. And jumping in and making the interception. Kaiwan Lewis. See whether or not Rutgers gets an opportunity to cash in here. He'll send James in motion. And the pass is to him down the sideline. Inside the 10 and knocked out of bounds at the Kansas 7. First down and goal to go now for the Scarlet Knights. <laughs> There's your first. What about nope. Play action, faking the touchdown. Matt Flanagan coming wide open on the play action rollout. A seven yard touchdown pass from Chris Laviano and a 13 point lead for Rutgers. Shows how much I know, Scott. I'm thinking they're not going to let Chris throw the ball. All right, we're going to take it out of your hands, but no. Ben McDaniels comes right back and says, Chris, I trust you. You made a mistake. You got a chance to redeem yourself. He certainly does that. That's his second touchdown in the first half. And in motion is Archie Diakono on second down. Right back to the ground and a big lane to run to. Hicks and a foot race to the corner. Inside the 10 yard line, he is dropped down at the five. 31 yards on the carry for Josh Hicks. Well, I think it's safe to say Ben McDaniels sees something on the left side. They keep attacking that right side of the Kansas defense, and there you see a great juke move by Josh Hicks. Watch the defender come up to make this tackle, and he just cuts right back. That's the R2, double team the defensive tackle, get a little push and pull that guard around to kind of clean up all the mess and swap the hole. Same play again. Off the right side. To the goal line and touchdown. Josh Hicks barrels his way in for his third touchdown of the year. And just pushing the pile forward. Kozart, big rush coming and down he goes. Kamoko Ture from the outside, his second sack of the year. He went untouched at the quarterback. And that is going to force Kansas, I believe, to bring on the punting unit. You know, it looked like it was supposed to be a screen play because the offensive lineman cut. You'll see him, and Kamoko Ture is just unblocked. Nobody even touched him. Quarterback never saw him. Well, and get a big play and then try to do something. Bunched receivers up on top for the wide receiver screen. There goes Grant. Off to the races. Inside the 45 and down to the Kansas 42 yard line. 25 yards. There's the quick screen that, that I just mentioned. Kind of a saving tacker from Skyler Miles. Good one could have gone a lot further. Martin's got a block on the outside. 
First down yardage into Kansas territory. And he is down to the 45 yard line, 15 on the pickup off left tackle. More of the power O offense that I've been talking about. You're going to see the, the right guard pull around here. And watch the fullback number 42, Nick Arcidiacono. He does a great job of fitting on there. And if, I tell you what, if you're the Kansas. Well, Rutgers on an extended drive here now to begin the second half. And the toss. Miller vaulting his way. I'm sorry, Martin, I should say, vaulting his way down to the 11-yard line. Once again, it seems like it's a minimum of five yards each time they touch the football. 10 plays, 73 yards. And once again, driving down inside the five is Martin for another Rutgers first down. These running backs are taking over the game. And, and what you see is this is pure power football by Rutgers. These guards are going to be exhausted after this drive because they're taking turns pulling. And all they're saying is, Kansas, here's what we're going to do. It's nothing fancy. So first and goal now from inside the five, and it's Hicks in the backfield. He'll take the hand and into the end zone for the touchdown. Textbook straight power running drive from the Rutgers Scarlet Knights as they march it down the field. Two down yardage. I would expect a quarterback keeper of some sort on this today as well. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. A big fourth down now for Kansas. Four out of six on the year on fourth. Did they get it? I think he was stopped short. Depends on the spot of the football, but Kinner reaching out as he went to the ground and I think he's shy of that 27 yard line. Rutgers defense is the best in the Big Ten now one for seven holding opponents on fourth down. Right back to offense they go to the outside James into Kansas territory and down to the 45 yard line. 27 yards off the right side for Paul James. There is no force defender for Kansas. You could see there's no corner, there's no safety. Somebody has to be the force defender, and Paul James takes the handoff and is he needs seven here to keep a huge drive going. That began all the way back at their own 21-yard line. Down by 13 are the Jayhawks with 9.02 to go. Blitz coming. And the throw is incomplete. Longa came on a linebacker blitz. And Cozart never had an opportunity. Rutgers knocking off Kansas today. And they walk out of here with a victory. Our final score, Rutgers 27 and Kansas 14. For